Hi, in this video I'll show you how to work with individual, individual Gale IP rules for each product. So, I have installed only two um, plugins on my site, WooCommerce and WooCommerce Currency Switcher. I'm going to the WooCommerce Currency Switcher uh, settings in tab Advanced and activate this feature. Yes, press save. So, uh, what I can do after activating all this feature? I can go to the products, for example, let's go to this one simple product. And on the same bottom of general tab you will see this button, the product custom gear rules. Let's press it. Mm, let's add any group to understand what's going on. I just press it button grow. And what I can do here, I can select here group of group of countries and set here prices in uh, basic currency for these countries. Let's do this. So, uh, if you if we have sell price we should always set sell price here too. Regular and sale. For example, let it be 60. Of course, we can add more groups. Uh, in this video, I'll show you how to work only with one group. Just now, I'm the, in the Spain, so I can manipulate with this data. Let's press update. It's saved. Of course, we can edit it, remove, for example, or it, or add more. Uh, let's check it. Let's go to this product. Uh, let's select basic currency, and you can uh, and you can see here that we see not these prices. We can see these prices. Uh, because uh, just now I'm in the Spain. Uh, so how we'll walk? Uh, check out. Let's check it. Add to cart. View. So we have sixty dollars. Yes. Let's. So I enter the data. Let's place order. So we have subtotal taken from here and shipping what cash and delivery seventy seven dollars. So it works in the basic currency. And what about if you want to set uh, if you want to make checkout with the currency selected by the user, but let's uh, let's recount works using this data. I mean, next, uh, we should go here, one moment, we should go here in the tab advanced and enable multiply allowed and save changes. Save changes. Okay, now our users is, uh, our users can pay in their selected can, uh, currency, for example, Great British Pound or Euro. Uh, now we have basic currency in our shop as USD to for understanding. This is for just for clarifying situation. Uh, so uh, let our customers pay in their selected selected currency, but recount. Mm, recount works with these prices okay let's check it uh, let's go to the same product as we had installed options here and let's select for example GDP so it's uh, it's 48 okay let's check it uh, we have price $60 and uh, uh, let's uh, look on it. JBP. Yes, right. 
So the system recounted right 80, uh, 40, uh, 48 GBP. I have two cards. View. Yes, 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 yes. Proceed. Okay. Uh, now our customer can pay in their uh, in their selected currency, and it price and its amount of uh, goods was recounted using this data. This our custom data, custom date. Of course, it works because country. Uh, uh, because country of the user is selected here. Just now I'm in the Spain. Of course, imagine that I'm in Great Britain just now. And uh, instead of Spain, you can select Great Britain. And all Great Britain visitors will be able to pay in Great Britain pound by this price, in the price you set for them. So let's check check out for PayPal, for example, because uh, these first three positions will be working. Uh, let's check it. Uh, proceed to PayPal. So it should be sixty one sixty. Yes, sixty one sixty. All is clear. Let's cancel it, and uh, because it's worked, so we don't need it to check it. Or let's let's do this one moment direct bank transfer direct bank transfer place order that's right let's check all that orders uh, yes well, we have one cancelled order via PayPal and you can see that uh, we did this order and all all amounts is right okay i hope you understood how to work with this feature in the next video i'll show you how to work with individual fixed prices rules for each product see you bye